Hi everyone, in this video tutorial we will see how to implement the use of an SVG file to further customize and personalize our experience in creating Gadget within the Tinkercad workflow. As always, to start, let's create a new 3D project by clicking Create 3D Design. And once the page is loaded, let's change the name to Lesson 4 and start modeling. First of all, let's place a, a simple shape to modify, like for example the cube. Let's make it a little bit shorter, like this, and maybe a little bit wider. As we have seen in the previous video, to import something, let's click on Import and choose a file. Here we can choose which kind of file we want to import. In the last video, we've seen STL and OBJ, and in this video, we will see the SVG. So let's click Choose File, and this will open our file manager. Let's click on the file and click Open. Here, we can modify how the file will be imported into the program. Here, we can choose to center it only on the black part or within the entirety of the file. Let's choose just the heart. Here the program reports us with the prompt that says that our file is too big, so uh, let's change our scale, like 50%. Still too big, so let's modify further the scale, like to uh, 40%, or maybe just 20. And now that we have modified our prompt, let's click Import. The file has loaded, it's very big, so let's dimension it. We can click here and just make it smaller. Huh? We can zoom and then make it like this. We can bring it to our shape, so let's select both and align them by the center. And here we can use our SVG file imported like a basic shape. So we can just select it, bring it a little bit down. Maybe uh, let's make it a little bit thicker before. Let's bring it down by two millimeters. Let's make the hole, select both and group it. As you can see, our SVG file has been incorporated in our shape. For this simple video, that's all. For more videos like this, follow JBDTube.